Hey guys, just a quick video. In this video, we are going to see how to create a AWS EC2 instance. So I have already logged into my AWS management console. And after logging, you can uh, see uh, this interface. So basically, you just uh, go to search and type EC2 and uh, click the first option. And it will show you the EC2 uh, dashboard. So uh, we have to select this option, launch instance, and uh, based on the launch instance. So we just have to uh, name it. So just uh, let's name it test, test instance. And uh, you can choose uh, AMI. So AMI is basically like uh, which operating system you are going to use. So I'm uh, continuing with uh, the Amazon uh, Linux. You can uh, also select like Mac OS, Ubuntu or uh, Windows. And uh, let's go. And uh, you can select the instance type. Uh, I'm selecting. I'm like selecting the default like T2 Micro. Uh, you can choose anywhere. Like I'm keeping it in free tier so basically you can select anyone you want so i'm just uh, continuing with the t2 micro and uh, yeah and uh, the uh, this option is like uh, important uh, you have to uh, like uh, create a key pair like uh, if it's your first time so basically you just have to create a key pair and you can name your key pair as uh, let's uh, name it as test instance only and uh, you have to select the RSA and uh, uh, this these are two options uh, which will be like uh, confusing to a lot of people so basically uh, if you are using like Windows 10 Windows uh, Windows 10 Windows 10 11 or uh, like uh, Linux or any Mac OS so basically you just select this dot PEM or if you are using like uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 then you have to uh, use a dot PPK uh, so basically it is for the party uh, application so we are continuing the PEM because we will be uh, using open SSH or SSH so let's just uh, create a key pair and it will download it in your uh, downloads folder and uh, now let's uh, see the network settings so like uh, uh, here you can see the uh, security group so basically security is group, uh, group is like um, uh, rules that uh, control the inward and outward network to your uh, instance so I'm just uh, like uh, we will be creating a new security group because uh, it's our first time and we will be allowing the SSH traffic because uh, like we have to like log in from the SSH and uh, you can also select this uh, allow HTTPS traffic and uh, allow HTTP traffic if you want to like uh, uh, run, uh, run any website or something so i'm just uh, keeping them unchecked and uh, for storage like uh, we are using uh, 8, 8 gigs and gp3 root volume because uh, it's default and it uh, we won't be charged for this and uh, you can see uh, like here uh, pretty tier eligible customers can get up to 30 gb of ebs ssd so we are under 8 uh, 8 gb so we're good and uh, you can see the advanced details so these are the important details like uh, you can uh, uh, basically you can select the IEM instance profile and all that was uh, if it's your first time then uh, you should just uh, avoid it and uh, let me show you the last option so basically uh, in user data you can uh, like uh, write the commands here so basically if you're using uh, like a Linux machine or something and uh, you want uh, like uh, you want to launch the uh, instance with the like uh, your environment like uh, uh, let's just say you want uh, you want to uh, launch a server or something so you can just write it here so I'm just uh, uh, ignoring this and let's just uh, click on the launch instance uh, it will be creating a security groups and all and it will just take uh, time and uh, you can go just now and check that so instance it is pending and uh, status check is also pending so let's just uh, wait for it it hardly takes uh, one minute or two uh, so the instance it is running and you can see uh, like uh, the details of it by just uh, clicking on the instance so he here are the details like public ipv4 and uh, private ipv4 so you shouldn't be like uh, sharing these uh, as I'm going to like uh, delete this instance so I'm just uh, sharing that and you can uh, just uh, 
yeah go through your security networking storage and if you want to change anything like yeah, you can just go and uh, change so uh, let's just uh, delete this instance or just uh, let's just stop it stop the instance so you can uh, see the button here like stop instance and just let's just keep that and uh, and it's stopping so yeah that's uh, pretty much for it, this video and uh, i hope like uh, you got to know like how to launch the ec2 instance in your uh, aws cloud so that's all for this video if you this video helps you give give it a thumbs up